YouTube. Y'all want to know what's going on, right? I am in Junction, Texas. I've already driven. Let's let's check it out. Let's see how far we've driven today. I should just stop to be honest. 450 miles today is what I've done. And you see here, we got 435 to go. So I could really stop if I wanted to for the day, but I'm gonna go ahead and drive another. Uh, I'll have three hours and a half on my clock. Okay, the truck stopped about three hours away, so I'm gonna stop there. Cause I want to give myself as much time as possible tomorrow to just do whatever, take my time, and I don't want to rush. This Nutrisystem thing, I ate it for breakfast pretty much. They had a, a muffin for the day is what I was supposed to eat, and uh, I had a, pretty much a cup of uh, mashed potatoes. It was supposed to be loaded is what they called it. It wasn't bad actually, it was actually pretty good. But uh, I'm looking for the... There's a little card in here. I don't think I took it out. I don't see it. But it's basically directions to tell you what you're supposed to eat next. I didn't realize that there was directions. I just thought I could eat literally whatever I wanted as far as long as it was labeled. Because these things are labeled. Like that says lunch. You know, I thought it didn't really matter. But it does apparently. So. Oh, there it is. I'm so stupid. Found it. So, for breakfast, we had... I, I'm not eating this in the day order, as I say, though. Because I'm, I'm going to start my morning eating what I want. Uh, it doesn't tell you, you know, in the box, it says five days of food. But you actually do have to uh, buy some other types of food. Luckily, I, you know, like this morning, I was supposed to supplement with a, you know, a snack between breakfast and lunch. Uh, piece of fruit so I had some grapefruits I ate one of those I like grapefruits I don't know why but I ate a grapefruit and uh, I got a bunch of packs of tuna so I was supposed to eat some type of high protein uh, low fat meal so that's pretty much what I ate a pack of tuna it was like 100 calories all in all today it's like already almost 6 o'clock and I've only eaten like 5 ish 600 calories maybe extremely low calories I'm kind of hungry but I've been making do where is, uh, I'm looking at, okay. So for dinner, which is now, is 6 p.m., I'm supposed to eat. Uh, chili with beans. And like, like it says here, you're supposed to add stuff to this, which I don't have any of this. So it says a slice of whole wheat bread, one cup bag lettuce, cup of accessory raw vegetables tablespoon of non-fat dressing. I don't have none of that stuff. So we're just going to be calorie deficient. I might eat another pack of tuna. I don't know. Let's find these chili and beans. I'm going to guess it's this little thing. Yup. See, that's dinner. Uh, let's see. 240 calories is what this is. I'll probably microwave for a minute. Yeah, I'm going to put that on two. My microwave is only 700 watts. So... I gotta give it some extra time though. It's not bad though. Well, the food actually tastes pretty good. I'm impressed. Tomorrow they're gonna try and tip me again. There's a casino. Okay. Well, that doesn't make sense. Whoa. Okay, it says it right there. I was wondering, you see that metal? I don't put it in the microwave. It says remove plastic and lid and the rest of the metal that's on here won't affect the microwave I guess as a special material I'm gonna put that lid back on here I don't want that all popping in my microwave y'all see that pop oh my god this needs to be like a, a blooper moment I got chili beans to the face shoot I don't even know if this say put this oh yeah replace plastic lid yeah I got some ghetto stuff. For some reason, I don't know where my surge protector is gone. Cause I my microwave. I'm gonna show you. Just a minute. This thing I be driving. This thing be all over the place. And I see the microwave not on. I have to do some uh, patchwork here. Y'all see the inverter? Here's the cord. This is the cord. 
cord right here. The cord is only that long. It don't reach. I had an inverter, but I know an inverter, a surge protector. I don't know where it went. I ain't gonna lie. I think I left it at my parents' house, to be honest. But when in doubt, you know, I always got like 25 foot of drop cords. So <laughs> we're gonna use this as an extension cable to heat this chili up. I, I gotta eat. I got like one, two minutes. Oh, that sounds good. Woo! So in case some of y'all been emailing me, I think I can turn this camera upside down the other way. I think that y'all supposed to be like that. Yeah. Someone emailed me. First of all, you know I appreciate all the new subscribers, and it's it's almost like all the emails. Every time someone subscribes. It sends me an email and then it's, I get emails for the comments and then if you send me some people have been sending me messages on YouTube I don't even know how you do that like I figured out how to read them and kind of reply to them I think but for that being said like if you send me a message and I haven't replied by now I'm probably not going to because I have no clue where in my inbox it is so if you send me a message it's better if you can comment on a video that you're sending me a message about and say hey I sent you a message because the comments are easy you know I don't get hundreds of comments like the, the subscriber count and that stuff is getting crazy so like if you guys could if you do comment uh, send me a message private message through YouTube however you're doing it let me know you did it so I can you know I have your name and I can search my inbox because that's like hundreds of messages I have like almost 3,000 messages in my inbox right now so that's crazy Somebody asked about route planning. I'm gonna do a video on that when I get my next load to kind of show you how I do things. And I need to actually, I'm gonna do that while I'm sitting here. I'm gonna make a video. It's gonna be two parts. The first part I'm probably put up today or tomorrow. Actually, I'll probably do that video tonight when I get to where I'm going. Uh, explaining the hours of service. Because if you don't understand the hours of service, you're not gonna understand trip planning. All right. Like they kind of go hand in hand. You have to understand the hours of service. So I don't want to start talking and you're like, oh, what does that mean? Or what does this mean? What does that mean? So you got to kind of plan. Your route is always planned around your hours of service. I don't know if this heated up good enough. It say it's done. It's smoking. I don't know if it's smoking in the middle, though. We to find out. Ugh. Let's see what I can find. You gotta get a spoon. See, this is hot in the middle. It don't look hot in the middle. I had to put those potatoes on a little bit longer than what it wanted because the power to this microwave is coming off the inverter, and it's not as hot as a household microwave. Oh, it's actually good. That's warm enough. But I'm gonna eat my dinner. That's much of nothing. Probably gonna add a pack of tuna to it to kind of make it a little bit more substance. So I'm not hungry later. I might actually wait until I get to where I'm going and then eat the tuna. Because I'll be up for like another two hours. Like I'll watch clothes tonight. But you guys be good, man. Like, subscribe, share the videos if you want. Stand by for the other videos. Hey. Say hey. Hey. <laughs>